These are the mountainous central highlands of Afghanistan, the Hazara Jat, or the land of the Hazara. And just like these imposing landscapes, the history of the Hazara people is shrouded in mystery. <laughs> over the centuries successive invasions forced the Hazara to retreat deeper into the mountainous regions of the Hazara Jat in these inhospitable lands they managed just about to scrape a living they cultivated the land and made utensils in wood and metal they became expert ironmongers and manufactured swords and shields but they also produced spades for working the land they remained independent of non-Hazara ethnic control until 1892 but the Afghan ruler Abdul Rahman put an end to all of that Abdul Rahman came to power in 1880 as the Emir of Kabul initially his pressure against the Hazara was political and financial but in the face of their resistance he resorted to oppression and violence and this led to uprisings by the local populations Abdul Rahman defeated the Hazara tribes one by one he occupied the entire Hazarajat and incorporated it into the Afghan state in 1893 he replaced local leaders with Pashtun administrators who set up a system of exorbitant taxes his troops assaulted Hazara women organized the pillaging of homes the enslavement of children by sending Sunni clerics to every village in Hazara Jat, Abdul Rahman forced the Shiite Hazara to attend Sunni mosques and to abandon Shiism. <laughs> Hazara resistance to Abdul Rahman's integration was ruthlessly crushed and an edict was issued granting rights over the fertile pasture lands in the region to Pashtun nomad tribes the Kochis who had helped the Emir to conquer the area for 90 years the Kochis exercised these rights when they themselves became landlords they built the mud fortresses now in ruins that still dot the Hazarajat countryside Meanwhile, Abdul Rahman partitioned their lands into three provinces to destroy the Hazara's sense of unity and independence. He described the Shiites as infidels. This is a translation of a letter he addressed to Sunni clerics and preachers in 1892. Let it be known to all respectable mullahs and preachers authorized to say prayers in mosques that the infidels, namely the Shiites, are also living in Afghanistan at the instigation of those devils their imams they thought it fit to abuse the caliphs if their infidelity is due to their ignorance they ought to grasp the true facts of a true religion but if they persist in their false faith they should all be put to death and their property confiscated in accordance with the divine doctrine and the precepts of the Prophet this was the beginning of a century of bloody persecution. The doctors, the doctors, the doctors, the 
کنی گفتم هیچ کنی اون تو دیش از تو دو کتر از مردم از داره پرسکی عمله ماجر شدم در این زمان فروش از داره ها رسمن روایت داشت دولت از فروش برده های از داره مالیه می گره و این خودش موجه بریدی شد پیداد ماجرت کنن که اگر برگشتن هم برگشتن اما یاد ده دوباره من جل شکن زندگی رو و حتی تاریخ خود از نو آغاز کنن یک گسستگی آمد یک تفرقی تاریخی آمد و وقت کنونی مردم ازارت یک هم مولود و محطول از این فیروب پاشی نیشه اهدی رو به زیرینون فیروب پاشی یاد کرد یک جامعه امتانی از هم پاشی